What's up guys? I got an exciting package. I just picked it up from uh, the post office now. From and, Latvia. And, <laughs> and Abby's gonna open it real quick. And uh, then we'll talk about it a bit. But I wanted to, I'm trying to incorporate her more in my videos because I know you guys like seeing her because she's the personality. I'm the best. <laughs> <laughs> so she's going to open it and she's going to be really confused as to what's going on and looking at it and I'll try to see if she can figure it out. Oh, right now? Yeah, go ahead. It's not very heavy. I thought it would be heavy. It's as tall as me. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here hey, do you want the knife? I'm Babe, I'm knife. Down. Do you want to hold the camera for a second? I'm done. Hold no, the camera. Now they've started and committed. I've got it. Actually, a little sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> Unwrap it. I'm trying, but I have to be careful. Well, that was unexpected. <laughs> what is it? Wait. <laughs> I'm done, man. <laughs> <laughs> you think the darkness is your hour? You're so you good think at that. the darkness is your ally? <laughs> I was born in it. Molded by it. <laughs> okay. What is it? I don't know. Look at it. Which think. way does it go? Like this? You want a hint? Is it one of the thingies? What one like of on the thingies? Like on the race car? Like right here? Okay. Like this? You got it. That's how it goes. It's a wing. But well, what does it do? It looks cool. Oh, it's simply aesthetic. You're like I mean, a tumbler girl, babe. Just doing it for the aesthetic. <laughs> don't call me a tumbler girl. Look, <laughs> oh, I thought that was just for cushion. Okay, so now that we got these things open, we're gonna go. I'm gonna have, yeah, now I'm hungry, so <laughs> we'll go eat. Now come and we'll talk about these later. We're gonna make the spaghetti. So you saw Abby open the box. Let's talk about what was inside. This was a care package from Click Tuning, which is a Latvian company, and they sell like fender flares, uh, wings, ducktails and like short shifter, solid shifter kits. All good stuff. I'll put a link in the description that you guys can go check it out. But they sent me their E30 wing, which is like an E30 M3 style wing with this gurney flap. I think this will look really cool uh, on top of the, the back on the trunk with this is the color of the car and this is like a carbon fiber wrap. They also sent me this front strut brace and this rear strut brace. Now I currently have that garagistic front strut brace. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to give this one away. And my reasoning for that is I wanna do some more user engaged or not user, sorry. I wanna do more for the viewer and give back to you guys a little more, so I'm trying to do a couple of giveaways and arrange them. And I would like to put this on and give away my, my Garagistic strut brace, just so I can have a matching set. But at the same time, I don't wanna give away a used strut brace. I don't think that's like, I don't think that's cool. I think that if I'm gonna do a giveaway, it needs to be a brand new item. So when, whenever Click Tuning sent me this, I asked them, and they said, yeah, that's totally cool. So I'm gonna pick someone in the next video, and we're gonna do a giveaway on this strut brace. I'll talk more about it towards the end of the video. But this rear strut brace, this is definitely going in the car. This wing, I've got to do a little bit of filler and some little imperfections, just get it perfect. 
and then that'll be going on the trunk. I'll have to figure out how I'm going to have to mount it because I'm going to get creative with it. It doesn't have any bolts or anything like that. So let's get to it. I just got some body filler and a sander. It's my new sander and we're just going to hit it, see how it goes. Additionally, these guys also sent me a really cool little uh, now handwritten note. I really appreciate these whenever companies send me them because it, it's cool to you know have have that personality with it. You know, you deal with these companies all the time, but there's people running these companies, and that's just it. It it, it lends itself very well to customer service and things like that. So they just sent me an, a nice little note with kind words, signed Nicholas from Click Tuning, and also all these stickers and this is way too many stickers for me to ever be able to put on the car there's like i don't know there's there's more somewhere else but there's a ridiculous amount of stickers i'll probably put one or two on there and then uh throw the other one or a couple of them in with the giveaway Okay, so I got the wing here, and I have it all cleaned up, it's ready to go, and I got these brass nut inserts. And what they are, are they just threaded inserts for like wood. They just go, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. They just kind of go in and take, uh, I think these are M6 bolts. And I'm just gonna drill a hole and thread these in so I'll have something to actually bolt the, the wing to the car. And that's my plan, sticking to it. So I'm just going to mark it. So, so now, now it's just a matter of color matching the wing to the car. And I had just enough wrap, like legitimately this is all I had left in the roll from the car to do the wing. So I'm gonna hop onto it. You guys have seen me do this, I'll probably just kind of rush through it. But I'm gonna show the process again anyway, just a little bit.
took quite some time, but the whole thing is wrapped. It's not the most beautiful thing I've ever done, but it is more than functional. I think it'll do well, and I don't think many people will look too closely at it. So all I gotta do now is take some 3M mounting tape, mount it to the bottom, and bolt it on. So all I'm gonna do now is take these measurements from the back and the side. So that's 83 millimeter, and this is 18. Make sure that they're the same over here. Okay, now we're just gonna drill it out to the bigger size. So now this bolt has to fit through. And then clear. Perfect. Now let's try mounting it. So as it turns out, two bolts was enough to hold it, just with the help of some mounting tape. Just a little bit of mounting tape on each side. And it looks good. It's sturdy as hell. I can move the whole thing around with it. Well, with my new badass wing on, presumably it's time to install that rear strut brace. Badass. So we are literally inside of the trunk right now. It's kind of an awkward fit for me, but these two bolts on both sides need to come off in order to fit the strut brace. So. These are like with this one. There we go, yeah. There we go. And then you just put your strut top mouse nuts back on. Now, with that back on, I can just go and tighten these down. Alright, that's that. That took literally like five to ten minutes to get that thing installed. Now if you have a very stocky 30, you probably have all this sound deadening and interior trunk trim. That would have to come out and then you can then do this and probably have to trim some of it to fit this bar through. But I don't have any of that. And you don't even have to lift the car off on the jacks or anything. You just do it on this factory weight. It, these will stay in the same position. Not difficult. And it adds some street cred. Adds a little stiffness to the rear end of the car, which is very important. And oh, they look cool. Close your trunk lid. Boom. So, that's that. That's my, my quick little job for today. Little... Uh, easy installs. The wing definitely took some work just to get it exactly how I wanted. I didn't want to cut any corners and make it look trashy. And I also didn't want to flying off on the highway so I took the time to order brass inserts and bolts and then use those to make sure that it was actually very structurally sound. But the strut bar, oh that's a breeze. 
The front one's pretty easy too. That's 10, 20 minutes. It's not difficult and that's a cool little thing. So, let's talk about that other strut bar. Ugh. Anyway, so here's the, the strut bar that I'm giving away. Like I believe I said earlier, I don't want to give away the used parts that I already have installed and to install this I want to give away something new to a, subscri or a subscriber because I think it's a little shady for me to like give away used parts. So I have this new one that Click Tuning sent me to give away to one of you guys and the only stipulation is that you share a video. I don't really care which video you share, be it your favorite one, be it one you found very useful, be it the, I don't know, I, li I like that big turbo one. That sort of thing. Share it, comment that you shared it, and that'll be enough for me to randomly pick someone from the comments on this video to give this thing to. It's a badass strut bar. Uh, I think it would, I think it would dress up any E30 engine bay. It's got some 933 Motorsports sticker on it, but you can sticker bomb it or you could paint it if you felt like it. You can do anything with it because it'll be one of you guys's. Anyway, huge shout out to Click Tuning for sending me this stuff. I think the wing looks phenomenal. I like having a rear strut bar. I considered making one, but it's easier just to buy one rather than source the steel and things like that. But that's this episode, guys. Don't forget, you know, like, comment, subscribe. If you have any suggestions or questions for me, I'll try to get back to you guys. And don't forget about the strut bar giveaway. Peace out.